Hi everyone, I'm back today with the fourth layout in our complete wedding album video series. Um, and today's layout is going to be focused around the wedding ceremony. So this would be a good layout for pictures of the bride walking down the aisle, um, the couple exchanging rings, saying their vows, uh, sharing a kiss at the end. Um, but if you don't have photos like that, um, you can always do like the more formal bridal portraits or the pictures of the family. So it is still kind of versatile. Um, we're starting out with this uh, damask print. It's cut down 11 and a half by 11 and a half inches. And I'm going to ad adhere it in the center of a piece of 12 by 12 black cardstock. one of my favorite designs in the paper stack because it's such a traditional print but it's got the foil on it. I think it's so pretty. And we're going to line it up center. It's not going to be flush on the edge. Next, I have this uh, purple designer paper, and oops, <laughs> I cut an eight inch by eight inch square, and then I took black cardstock and cut an eight and a half inch by eight and a half inch square, and then I just um, cut them right down the middle. So I'm going to make a frame like this. to adhere these first. My tape is like going all over the place. So again, we're going to adhere this one flush on the edge, not in the center. And I find that a lot of times, if I have pieces that are supposed to meet in the middle like this, it helps if I line them up against each other. Now I'm going to adhere this flush to the black. I'm not going to do it all the way to the edge. I'm going to do it right where the damask meets the black cardstock and then like in the middle.
Next I have a border strip, and this was cut from the paper sack. Um, it's about one inch by um, 11 and a half. And I have a piece of black cardstock that's also 11 and a half inches by one and a half inches. So it's going to act as a border for a border strip. And I'm going to adhere it flush to the edge and in the middle. Overhang, so I'm just going to take my scissors and trim that off. Now I have another piece, but this one, <clears throat> I actually cut it too short. Uh, classic case of I should have measured before I cut. Um, or measured you know, my layout before I cut my border strip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tear one end down here and one end over here. And my photo mat is going to overlap, so you won't even be able to tell. These border strips are going to go a little bit lower, almost like two-thirds of the way down the page. You know what? I did cut that the right size. I cut my black too long. Okay, I need to cut off like a quarter of an inch, I think. That's good. That's the mistake I made last time. I took off too much. So sometimes it's better to take off a little bit at a time until you're you're sure. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Next, I have my photo mats. I have um, two four by four photo mats. Um, the photo mat is four inches by four inches. The white cardstock is four and a quarter by four and a quarter, and the black is. Four and a half by four and a half. And then I have two four by six photo mats, and the white cardstock is four and a quarter by six and a quarter, and then four and a half by six and a half. So I'm going to have one. It's going to be lengthwise. With four and a four up here, another one up here, and then one that is going. Or this one's lengthwise, and this one is. Um, this one's horizontal, this one's vertical. There we go. <laughs> okay, for my cuts, I have the wedding couple that is cut from the Wedding Solutions cartridge. I cut it out of black first, then I cut it out of white, and I just took the dress part, and I embossed that with the Cuddlebug Texture Embossing Folder, and then I cut it in white glitter and cut the overlay of the dress, so it would give the dress more dimension. You can layer this as many times as you want. Um, you know, you could cut out their, the faces, the hair, the suit. I wanted it more just black and white and elegant, but I wanted the dress to show. And then I accented with some pearls. And um, that was cut at 7 inches. Next, 
Next I have the tie the knot phrase, which was from the tie the knot cartridge. And it was cut at three and a half inches. Next I have the I do phrase, um, again cut from the tie the knot cartridge, and this was cut at two inches. I have some bells, and I believe these were cut from the Sweetheart's cartridge. And they were cut at three and three quarters of an inch. I have the book that was cut from the Wedding Solutions cartridge, and that was cut at two and a half inches. And you could use this for um, a Bible, a ceremony book, a guest book, you really use it for whatever. Um, I have the flower basket. I cut it out of the purple cardstock and then I cut it again in the white and I cut the white out and layered it in to give my basket more dimension. And that was cut at um, three and a half inches. I have my ring bearers pillow. I did a very similar thing. I cut it in black, cut it in white, cut out the accent and then I cut the bow in the purple. And that was cut at three and a half inches. I'm sorry, that was cut at three inches. And finally, I have the rings that were cut from the Wedding Solutions cartridge. And they were cut at two and a quarter of an inch. So now I'm going to play with my cuts and my border strip here and just get everything how I want it. I might actually bring it up some. Go ahead and adhere my photo mats on this page. Check my yeah, my foam is too far over. Trying to make sure that all my pictures can fit in. Okay, and I'm actually going to take another little piece of foam. I have room for it, and I want this to uh, this dress to lay flat.
Let's start working on this side. Sure these are lined up so I can put my border on correctly. Sometimes when you use these little pieces of foam on the titles, you need to hold them down for a while. They're not really heavy enough to um, adhere by themselves, so if you just kind of hold them down, the glue will take to the paper better, and then you won't have the pop-ups. Of course, when you put this in a page protector, the uh, plastic covering is going to kind of keep everything even as well. Now I have a few crystal gemstones that I'm going to add. I'm going to add two small ones on the flowers here. Dress up our little um, flower basket a little bit. have another one that's going to go right here in the center of the bow that's on the bells. I 
And that is the fourth layout in our complete wedding album. And I will be back soon with the fifth layout. Thanks so much for watching.